Hi, Sarasota County families. Today, I'm going to show you how to log in to your student's My SES account and how to check their iReady reading and math progress every week. We're going to start at the Sarasota County Schools webpage, which is sarasotacountyschools.net. On the homepage, I'm going to go to the top where it says Parents and Students. I'm going to click that. Once that loads, I'm going to go down to the My SES logo, and I'm going to click on that logo. It's going to open up a login page, and from here, I'm going to type in my student's N number and PIN number, and then I would hit Log In. Now I'm logged in to My SES. Now you'll notice that there is nothing on this homepage. Don't panic. Some students have more than one homepage. If you'll notice at the bottom, it says My Home, My Home 2, My Home 3. So just click on those until you see the iReady logo. Now, if you don't see that iReady logo on that iReady tile, you can also click on the magnifying glass and type in the letters IR. Don't put a space in between them and you'll see that it also pulls up that iReady tile. I'm gonna click on that tile. It's gonna log in through Clever. I don't have to add anything else because I've logged in through My SES. This is the iReady dashboard. At the very beginning, it says choose a subject, so I can choose reading or math. So we're gonna start by checking reading. Now, if I need to toggle between the two, I can go up to the top. I have reading or I can check math. The very first page is their pathway. So this is where we're going to see the lessons that they're currently working on or lessons that are next on their pathway. I'm going to go down to this little icon that has a little arrow. This is the My Progress button. I'm going to click on that and it's going to show me my students' stats for the week, for the year. You'll notice time on task on lessons this week, it is zero. That means that my student has done zero minutes of iReady for the week. If they've done 15, you'll see that this little bar would be green, it would be about here, and it would say 15 in the middle. Now our goal is 45. So what we wanna see by the end of each week is we wanna see this circle all the way green to the 45 and see at least 45 minutes in this circle. Over here, this is where we see how many lessons they've currently passed. They call it a streak. So right now, this student has only passed one lesson in their streak. We're not really worried about this right now, but we do wanna know if they've passed a lesson recently. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on completed work. You'll notice that it opens up like this and it shows me the lessons that they've most currently done, shows me the date, okay? Type of lesson it was, so this was a comprehension lesson, has the title of the lesson, the date over here, and then the score. So anything over a 67 is going to be considered passing. Anything under a 67 would be failing. So we want to see this number to be above 67 and to be green. So that was reading. I'm gonna go up to the top and click on math. It automatically opens up to that My Progress page again. If I wanna go back, click on, sorry, click on this button right here, and it will take me back to see their stats again. So again, the student has done zero minutes in math for this week. Again, we wanna see this green all the way to 45. We wanna see 45 right in the middle. We want to see, um, again, streak we're not too worried about, but this is pretty good. This means the student hasn't failed very many lessons. If I click on completed work, it's gonna show me the last time they worked on a math lesson was April 13th. They got an 83%. We can see that we're seeing a lot of greens, which means they've passed a lot of lessons. So our goal is to pass at least one lesson a week with at least 67% and 45 minutes on task. So again, this little middle button with the arrow, this is where we can see their progress. So we can toggle between reading and math at the top. If we want them to work on a lesson, we'd click on this little checklist right here. And same thing, we can toggle in between math and reading, and then the little smiley face. These are their rewards. They can change their backgrounds. Um, some students have games. As you'll notice, the student has a lot of coins racked up because games are turned off, but your student might have games turned on and that's where they would find them right here.